couple of weeks ago, I did a video where this gun didn't work at all. I think I've fixed it. Here's the moment of truth. Seems to be working. Welcome back to Sawtooth Tactical. A couple of weeks ago, I filmed a video that was intended to be about practical handgun upgrades and, you know, how they improve the usefulness of your handgun. Well, that video ended up being about this gun not working because what I thought was I was getting striker drag from the Timney Alpha Glock trigger that I had installed. I was wrong about that, and we're gonna talk about that today. So this is my PSA dagger build, the Gucci Glock on a budget, as I've been calling it. I thought it was the Timney Alpha trigger that was the problem. Turns out, the uh, firing pin broke. <laughs> Works great now. I'm wearing my Glock Perfection shirt, kind of ironically, because as I've called this oftentimes in the build series I did, this is my Gucci Glock on a budget. It is a Gen 3 Glock clone built on a PSA dagger frame. And while I have had really good luck with Palmetto State Armory parts, components, firearms, there is a bit of a problem that I found with this PSA dagger, unfortunately. There is absolutely nothing wrong with the Timney Alpha trigger. As you see from the range footage today, it worked absolutely perfectly, just like it always has. What I found with the real problem was, is before I wanted to start taking a Dremel to my trigger bar, I decided I should take everything else apart just to be sure that that was the actual problem. And so, when I pulled my slide off, took the back plate out, and pulled my striker assembly out, it's broken. Let's go up close and take a look at that. So here we have the firearm semi-unassembled here because I can't take apart firearms, assemble, disassemble, things like that on YouTube anymore. But I will explain it. So on a Glock or a Glock clone, this back plate slides out and your striker assembly is inside there. And if you can see in the breech face there, that little piece of metal, that is what's missing from here. And if you look closely, it literally just sheared right off. And this is after only a few hundred rounds. I have not beat this gun up. I've not torture tested it or anything like that. I've shot it, you know, I'd say maybe five, 600 rounds so far, something like that. But not enough rounds for a striker to break, in my opinion. Literally, the firing pin is broken right off of it. And uh, so that's a little bit disappointing to me. Um, like I said, I've had nothing but good luck with Palmetto State Armory in the past. I have an 11 and a half inch AR pistol of theirs that I got years ago that I've put thousands of rounds through. And in fact, I run it with a binary trigger regularly, putting many rounds through it very fast. Never had an issue. This thing, I built this. This is a PSA Dagger Compact, which is a Glock 19 clone, Gen 3. And uh, so it does take Glock Gen 3 parts, which is really nice. As you can see here, the Timney Alpha Trigger does everything it's supposed to do absolutely perfectly. And so I had to put this video out because I didn't want people to think that the Timney Trigger was making my otherwise reliable Glock clone not run. It was actually, apart from PSA, 
I ordered this striker, I mean this uh, slide and barrel assembly as a one skew, came with the recoil system, the barrel, and the assembled slide, including the striker already in it. So this is a Palmetto State Armory part. And uh, I mean, I'm not a metallurgist, but it seems to me maybe it just wasn't heat treated properly. I'm not sure exactly how that would break so easily. Luckily, it's a $13 part. I spent $12.99. As soon as I realized what the issue was, I ordered a new one. It came in a couple days, installed it, went out to the range today, and everything ran perfectly. Well, it's good to know that Timney makes a great trigger, doesn't have any issues. It's a little disappointing that uh, the PSA dagger, the striker assembly, firing pin in fact, uh, broke after only a few hundred rounds. Luckily, the part was $13 and it was a very easy fix. And it works great again. So I am very happy to find out that the Timney Alpha Glock trigger works great and is perfectly reliable, just as I thought it had been before, it actually is. So I had to set the record straight about that. Little disappointed in Palmetto State Armory's QC, although to be fair, I'm not sure how they would really catch that. It was a perfectly fine working firing pin it just might have been like heat treated improperly or something. I'm not sure. I'm hoping that the new firing pin, the new striker assembly that I put in here, will continue to run for many, many rounds. And I will keep an eye on that. And I'll let you guys know if that fails as well. I haven't really seen anything out there about people having this as a regular issue. So maybe I just happened to get a bad striker assembly. This can happen with any manufacturer, and especially a manufacturer as big as Palmetto State Armory and a platform as popular as their dagger lineup. They are selling tons of these. So things like this are going to happen. So I don't want you to take this as like a hit piece on PSA or me saying that the dagger or dagger parts are low quality because in my experience, PSA's stuff is fantastic, especially for the value, for the price that you get it at. It's almost hard to beat it. And um, this is the only issue I've ever had with any of their products. I'm running a PSA trigger in this AR. I've got an 11 and a half inch 5.56 AR that I bought from PSA. Again, I've modified it a ton but it is a PSA AR, still has their barrel bolt carrier group, everything in it runs great to this day with many, many rounds through it. So I do think this is kind of just a freak thing, but I have to let you guys know because it's kind of the point of having a firearms channel, right? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like, a thumbs up, share this. Leave me a comment down below. What is your experience with Palmetto State Armory and especially the dagger? What have your experiences been? Because for the most part, I've only heard people have good things to say about it, except for people that don't actually own their products. There's a lot of uh, gun snobs out there that are be quick to, you know, call someone a poor because they're running PSA stuff. But you know what? I've had good luck with most of their stuff this video notwithstanding. <laughs> anyway, if you like this, please subscribe to Sawtooth Tactical. And from Sawtooth Tactical, stay strapped or get clapped.